Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading Through the Bible in 365. Today, we are going to be focusing on Numbers chapter 7 and 8 and Mark chapter 4, verses 21 to 41. Let's get started with Numbers chapter 7. Chapter 7 is a long chapter. <laughs> <clears throat> On the day Moses set up the tabernacle, he anointed it and set it apart as holy. He also anointed and set apart all its furnishings and the altar with its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the tribal leaders, who had registered the troops, came and brought their offerings. Together, they brought six large wagons and twelve oxen. There was a wagon for every two leaders and an ox for each leader. They presented these to the Lord in front of the tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Receive their gifts and use these oxen and wagons for transporting the tabernacle. Distribute them among the Levites according to the work they have to do. So Moses took the wagons and oxen and presented them to the Levites. He gave two wagons and four oxen to the Gershonite division for their work, and he gave four wagons and eight oxen to the Merorite division for their work. All their work was done under the leadership of Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest. But he gave none of the wagons or oxen to the Kohathite division, since they were required to carry the sacred objects of the tabernacle on their shoulders. The leaders also presented dedication gifts for the altar at the time it was anointed. They each placed their gifts before the altar. The Lord said to Moses, Let one leader bring his gift each day for the dedication of the altar. On the first day, Nashon, son of Aminadab, leader of the tribe of Judah, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull a ram and one-year-old male lamb for, burnt, for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Nashon, son of Amenadab. On the second day, Nathaniel, son of Zor, leader of the tribe of Issachar, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Nathaniel, son of Zor, on the third day of Eliab, son of Helen, leader of the tribe of Zebulun, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. They were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Eliab, son of Helen, or Helon. <laughs> On the fourth day, Eleazar, son of Shadur, leader of the tribe of Reuben, presented his offering. 
His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the, <clears throat> of the sanctuary shekel. They were both, these were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Eleazar, son of Shadur. On the fifth day, Shelemiel, Sh Shalumiel, son of Zerish Zerishadai, leader of the tribe of Simeon, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Shem Shelemiel, Shel Shelumiel, son of Zerishadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, son of Duel, leader of the tribe of Gad, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Eliasaph, son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amahud, leader of the tribe of Ephraim, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering bought by, brought by Elishama, son of Amahud. <coughs> Excuse me. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedazor, leader of the tribe of Manasseh, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a, <coughs> and a male goat for a, an offering. Excuse me, my throat is dry. I gotta take a drink. Sorry, guys. <coughs> um... He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Gamaliel, son of Pedazur. 
On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gideoni, leader of the tribe of Benjamin, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, excuse me, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Abidan, son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, Ahazer, Ahazer, son of Amishadai, leader of the tribe of Dan, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and, a, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Ahazer, Ahazer, son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, son of Okron, leader of the tribe of Asher, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Pajil, son of Okron. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Anon, leader of the tribe of Nephtali, presented his offering. His offering consisted of a silver platter weighing three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin weighing one and three quarter pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour moistened with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb for a burnt offering, and a male goat for a sin offering. For a peace offering, he brought two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs. This was the offering brought by Ahira, son of Anon. So this was the dedication offering brought by the leaders of Israel at the time the altar was anointed. Twelve silver platters, twelve silver basins, and twelve gold incense containers. Each silver platter weighed three and a quarter pounds, and each silver basin weighed one and three quarter pounds. The total weight of the silver was sixty pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. Each of the 12 gold containers that was filled with incense weighed four ounces, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. The total weight of the gold was three pounds. 12 young bulls, 12 rams, and 12 one-year-old male lambs were donated for the burnt offerings along with their prescribed grain offerings. Twelve male goats were brought for the sin offerings. Twenty-four bulls, sixty rams, sixty male goats, and sixty-one-year-old male lambs were donated for the peace offerings. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed.
Whenever Moses went into the tabernacle to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from between the two cherubim above the ark's cover, the place of atonement that rests on the ark of the covenant. The Lord spoke to him from there. Chapter 8 The Lord said to Moses, Give Aaron the following instructions. When you set up the seven lamps in the lampstand, place them so their light shines forward in front of the lampstand. So Aaron did this. He set up the seven lamps so they reflected their light forward, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The entire lampstand, from its base to its decorative blossoms, was made of beaten gold. It was built according to the exact design the Lord had shown Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, now set the Levites apart from the rest of the people of Israel and make them ceremonially clean. Do this by sprinkling them with the water of purification and have them shave their entire body and wash their clothing. Then they will be ceremonially clean. Have them bring a young bull and a grain offering of choice flour moistened with olive oil, along with a second young bull for a sin offering. Then assemble the whole community of Israel and present the Levites at the entrance of the tabernacle. When you present the Levites before the Lord, the people of Israel must lay their hands on them. Raising his hands, Aaron must then present the Levites to the Lord as a special offering from the people of Israel, thus dedicating them to the Lord's service. Next, the Levites will lay their hands on the heads of the young bulls, present one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering to the Lord, to purify the Levites and make them right with the Lord. Then have the Levites stand in front of Aaron and his sons and raise your hands and present them as a special offering to the Lord. In this way, you will set the Levites apart from the rest of the people of Israel and the Levites will belong to me. After this, they may go into the tabernacle to do their work, because you have purified them and presented them as a special offering. Of all the people of Israel, the Levites are reserved for me. I have claimed them for myself in place of all the firstborn sons of the Israelites. I have taken the Levites as their substitutes. For all the firstborn males among the people of Israel are mine, both of people and of animals. I set them apart for myself on the day I struck down all the firstborn sons of the Egyptians. Yes, I have claimed the Levites in place of all the firstborn sons of Israel and of all the Israelites. I have assigned the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They will serve in the tabernacle on behalf of the Israelites and make sacrifices to purify the people so no plague will strike them when they approach the sanctuary. So Moses, Aaron, and the whole community of Israel dedicated the Levites, carefully following all the Lord's instructions to Moses. The Levites purified themselves from sin and washed their clothes, and Aaron lifted them up and presented them to the Lord as a special offering. He then offered a sacrifice to purify them and make them right with the Lord. After that, the Levites went into the tabernacle to perform their duties, assisting Aaron and his sons. So they carried out all the commands that the Lord gave Moses concerning the Levites. The Lord also instructed Moses, this is the rule the Levites must follow. They must begin serving in the tabernacle at the age of 25, and they must retire at the age of 50. After retirement, they may assist their fellow Levites by serving as guards at the tabernacle, but they may not officiate in the service. This is how you must assign duties to the Levites. Moving on to Mark chapter 4, starting at verse 21 and finishing up the chapter. Then Jesus asked them, Would anyone light a lamp and then put it under a basket or under a bed? Of course not. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light will be 
where its light will shine. For everything that is hidden will eventually be brought into the open, and every secret will be brought to light. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Then he added, pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given, and you will receive even more. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. Jesus also said, the kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, while he's asleep or awake, the seed sprouts, the seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First, a leaf blade pushes through. Then the heads of wheat are formed, and finally the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests it with a sickle, for the harvest time has come. Jesus said, How can I describe the kingdom of God? What story should I use to illustrate it? It is like a mustard seed planted in the ground. It is the smallest of all seeds but it becomes the largest of all garden plants. It grows long branches, and birds can make nests in its shade. Jesus used many similar stories and illustrations to teach the people as much as they could understand. In fact, in his public ministry, he never taught without using parables. But afterward, when he was alone with his disciples, he explained everything to them. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. <clears throat> Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, teacher! Don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence! Be still! Suddenly the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and waves obey him. Thank you for joining me for today's reading through the Bible in 365. I hope you all have a wonderful Monday and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.